Guam Department of Education touted record-breaking graduation rates for the year, but one public school teacher disagrees and claims GDOE is padding their numbers with deceased and withdrawn students. PNC's Rebecca Elmore has the details. Yesterday, the Department of Education announced their soaring graduation numbers and declining dropout rate. However, one public school teacher is alleging that the numbers are inaccurate. A teacher who wishes to remain anonymous believes that the statistics GDOE provided does not accurately reflect their current climate. The teacher tells PNC, quote, students who are no-shows are kept on our rosters. What is happening now is students withdrawn are put back into the system. In fact, the teacher says even graduated or deceased students are kept on the attendance list. The teacher says, quote, I called a parent who informed me that a student graduated a few years before the student was withdrawn from school. According to the teacher, the problem began when GDOE changed from a no-credit policy system. The old system gave students around six unexcused absences. Once a student exceeds that amount, they would receive no credit for the class. However, that system has changed. If they fail because they're never here, okay, no credit, explains the teacher. But now some students still get work done in order to pass a class, but have excessive absences and get a passing grade, so attendance doesn't matter. The teacher alleges that no-shows can't be withdrawn without prior approval from the superintendent and says, quote, we're not showing true dropout rates since he's controlling involuntary withdrawal. According to the student conduct procedural manual provided by the teacher, school administrator has the direct discretion to decide whether tardiness is considered as excused. In addition, students who are in attendance for less than 50% of their regularly scheduled class are still considered technically absent. This struck a nerve with the teacher who points out, quote, students can be half a class late and be considered tardy. What are we teaching them about time management and the real world? But Deputy Superintendent Erica Cruz notes that the extra support offered to students is sometimes all that stands in the way of keeping a child in school. She writes, we hope to provide all the supports we can to keep our children in school and on the road to graduation. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Rebecca Elmore.